demonstrate obviously poor performance by our program. As a head coach, you got to take responsibility for that. And our entire program has to take it head on, go back to work, and build where we are. And we got a lot of work to do. Questions? Mario, it's the first time uh, this program has scored three or less points since 2015. The offense just, I know there's obviously Tyler had his issues and offensive line, whatever, but the offense just never really got it going tonight. Is there an explanation? It did. Couldn't get it going. You know, when it uh, looked like there was a spark down there in the second half, we snapped the ball early and it got away. Um, aside from that first drive, we drove it down there but settled for a field goal. Uh, and then after that, I believe, uh, I think it was second or third drive, Tyler got, uh, after a punt, Tyler Tyler got hurt. And so we try to get some things going with the combination of Jakari and Jake. Uh, but that resulted in very little, very little production. Did you see how Jakari used him a lot in the second half? What did you see out of him and the, the decision to give him the, ball, the, the QB rights in the second half? Well, we felt that he could throw the ball well, and we felt the combination of him you know, making them respect the quarterback run and trying to get the running game going would give us a chance to work our way into the game. Uh, we weren't getting the type of production in the running game that we thought could put us in second and manageable, third and short. And um, a couple times, I know early in the game, we got stopped on a third and short and ended up punting for our own like 29 yard line. Uh, and those are the things we thought we could generate with him in there. And we didn't do it to the level we thought we could. But Mario, uh, what's Tyler's status? Do you know what he's gonna be able to do going forward? Uh, obviously he got it out, tried to come in, come back into the game tonight, but um, do you know what his status might be going forward? I don't, I know uh, he looked good this week in practice. A lot of part of practice and look good to start the game and then it just uh, went south. Jalen Rivers going down, how much did that hurt? He was hurt pretty good. He went down, so we went with um, Lauren Seymour, that guard. What was the biggest issue, I guess, defensively? Big plays. I mean, we, we played counter really well. They ran counter right up the gut. We didn't stop it very well. Uh, a big part of it was tackling. Uh, another part of it was being able to spill the first puller, um, hold the point in the double team, and then just get in there and do what we've done really well all year. We've been able to stop the run. Uh, we didn't do those things technically well enough. Obviously, we got to teach it better, call it better, all those things that go with it. Um, thought we had a chance to get off the field right away to start the game. Uh, I think we got hit with a pass interference. They come back with counter pass, throw it over the top for a big play. Uh, so big plays with the story. I think they had five plays for over 240, 250 yards, you know. So we got work to do. We got to build. We got to build, man. I knew it, but we got to build. Stuff like this the same. That ain't it. Have this score a touchdown in, in nine quarters. Mm -hmm. What can you do to, to like, during the, the season to fix the offense, try to get it going? Yeah, we got to find ways. We got to tweak stuff. We got to find ways to produce, you know. Obviously, we came in here with a plan. Uh, and I think Coach got us run some, a great offense. Obviously, it ran really well at Michigan and, you know, it was very successful and things he was involved with at Alabama, but we're not there yet from a development standpoint. So we got to find ways to generate yards, first down, and points. And we're, I'm trying to uncover every stone to try to do that. And we haven't. So it starts with a run game. So a few more questions for Coach. Oh, the, the crowd, you had a great crowd tonight, finally. It must be extra disappointing, I guess. Well, they were awesome. They were, it was a place where it was electric to start off. And it was, uh, we got to, I have to apologize to them because it's what we want, you know? It's what we want, it's what we're building to be and building to do. And I, I you know, Trust me, no one feels this more than I do, but um, I, I, just, I hate it for our people, I hate it for our fans, I hate it for our players. Um, we're in a building process, and we're laying a foundation and gotta go to work and it ain't fun. And days like this are really painful, you know? And there's uh, there no excuse, there is no sidestepping or sugarcoating it, so. That's why I came here. Got to go to work. Got to do lots of it. So, 
Mario, they were up 35 in the fourth quarter and throwing the ball in fourth down. Some people would say, you know, trying to run up the score. Did you feel that at all? I don't care about that stuff. It's their job to score. It's our job to stop them. You know, one day we'll switch shoes. Coach, is this rock bottom uh, for you all as a program? No, you guys speak in those terms, man. I ain't talking about rock bottom. I don't talk like that. I don't think like that. I don't. I very well knew what we had to do here. We got to go to work. That's the bottom line. So that's how we approach it, and that's what we're doing. And as far as championship culture, do you feel like a loss like this will help motivate the team? Before? They should. They're all learning lessons. Use every bit of it, good and bad. All right, season, last all, question for Coach. Yeah, all season long, you've dealt with the slow starts. Is that one thing that you're trying to work through? You know, every game you're always playing from behind. We're trying to work through everything. We're trying to work through every bit of what comes with this, you know? And so, yep, that's definitely one of the things. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.